Now we review the 1987 film Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard. This is Random Street Theater, and I am getting a bit hoarse. I can tell my voice is just getting that kind of slight nasally to it. Anyway, so I have seen Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity. And, I mean, it is a 87 film, and back, back in 87, you see, the internet was dial-up. And it was really hard to look at nude pictures of girls. You had to have hard copies most of the time, and you didn't want your mom to find out. So they had movies like this that pretend to be real movies, yet are basically there to show you boobies. So, yes, before I go any further, permit me to uh, remind you that for every thousand subscribers I get, I do purchase this these bracelets from 4Ocean. 4Ocean pulls a pile of trash out of the ocean for everything I buy from them. I try to buy as much from them as I can. You can help me. Those things aren't cheap. I also have uh, my frogs from the World Wildlife uh, Foundation. And... My Conqueror Medal, which represents five trees I planted. And this is Snowball from iHeartCats.com. They do not s sell Snowball anymore, but I believe that year I provided several hundred meals for shelter animals. Anyway, so yes. Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity is a retelling of the most dangerous game. Okay, you probably read that story in high school... And that's what it was. You know, this is... Somebody said, Make me a movie with boobies and a starship. And they said, Okay, we'll make you a movie with boobies and a starship. And the acting here is abysmal. The sets are not bad, but they are a little cliche. They look like they were probably were borrowed from something else. And... The story here is actually way darker than, than the acting is credited to. If this were a better acted film, it would be a true gothic horror because of just how... I mean, when you, when you really think about it, this is a messed up story. It is a messed up story. You know, this, this dude goes around uh, luring people to his island and hunting them for sport. You know, he, he then mounts their heads on the wall. This dude is screwed up. And this is a screwed up movie. But, you know, the light-hearted nature and the terrible acting pre prevents you from feeling the gravity of this situation. So it's just, I, I don't want to spoil it because you might actually watch it, but I mean, like, there are scenes in here where you're like, wow, that's like straight up that evil king dude from, from Game of Thrones. Screw. Felt an inch. Thought might have been a fly. That's like, you know, Joffrey. Joffrey level of, of evil there. So yeah, this is this is one of those movies. Now look... I cannot tell you this is a good movie. I really can't. This is a fans of the genre only movie. And by fans of the genre, I mean cheesy science fiction and 80s boobs. And well, yeah, hey, these kind of movies are my jam. I currently have a job where I spend a lot of time alone. Not enough time alone because the other employees still bother me. But... That's what I do for a living. So, yeah, it's better than, than going on YouTube and watching a sheer clothing haul to me. But I'm not you. Maybe you like those sheer clothing hauls. Maybe that's your thing. And that's perfectly fine. No judgment from me. But, yeah, this is what we used to watch before uh, the Internet when you didn't want to watch pornography, but you needed to see some skin. Those things were different back then. And with the epidemic of loneliness that has been declared by the U.S. government, eh, this movie might, might get you through the night. Again, it's a fans of the genre only film. 
But that doesn't mean I didn't love it because I'm a fan of this genre. Anyway, this is my opinion. Love to hear yours. Comments below. I'm Richard. Greetings, humans! Your old pal Randall here again, reminding you to comment, like, and subscribe. You see, I got my bracelets from Ferocian, and I got another! Another medal from the Conqueror! Yeah, yeah, look at that, see? See? That, that's got an Easter Island head on it! Because, if you can't afford to go to Easter Island, you can go and walk Easter Island virtually by going to the Conqueror. You could not screw up the environment by traveling to Easter Island. You could just get this, plant five trees, and then walk on your own and learn about Easter Island because I send you postcards. And if, if you comment, like, and subscribe, you can help the guy that owns this channel buy things like this so he can plant trees and buy bracelets like this from For Ocean so he can pull trash out of the ocean and make a better world for you. And it isn't going to cost you anything. So, so don't you have something to say? I mean, shouldn't you in the comments down below say how grateful you are that this man has planted so many trees and pulled so much trash out of the ocean and did all those good things for you? No? Ungrateful human? I SHOULD EAT YOUR FACE!